because in your real, real nature, you are not identified with anything. Good. I think that's a wonderful discussion. Let me do a peace chant. Just the last. Question. All right, last. Ask. Um, pronouns. Um, Swamiji, just want to know if uh, practicing Advaita can make you egotistical because... Oh, yes, you, it can. <laughs> huh. Huh. It can make you e egotistical. It can make, these are the dangers. Egotistical, it can make you hypercritic. No, no, actually it can. One sadhu said, because you are using the intellect. Um, so he, he used the word tarka. Tarka means argument. And the opposite is a, is a, is a, is a kenchi jasa, the scissors. It's used to cut. Now, people who use the scissors, they should know when to cut and when not to cut. You, kept, you keep on cutting everything, left and right. Yeah. These people become um, hyper analytical, sometimes very dry, argumentative. I've read all the books, I know all the shlokas, I know all the arguments, so that's it. No, that's not it. That was not the purpose at all. Yeah. Always going around cutting down everything. Um, I remember Charlie Chaplin in that movie was there, I think um, modern times, in a factory. He was in the factory system and he, his job was to tighten the screw on one assembly. You just, just stand there and one by one the machines will come, he has to do this. Whole day, this. After, in the lunch break, he can't stop. He's going like this, everywhere. And the foreman um, uh, comes, the shop floor foreman, he comes to scold him. Hey, stop! And he does this to his nose, like this he does. <laughs> so, Advaita can make you like cutting everything. I mean, it's a danger. Yeah. And um, one, one danger, another danger I'll tell you. These are all little things you learn when you stay with uh, practitioners and scholars and all. One effect of it is um, because the buddhi, it is good at analysis. It becomes an expert in fault finding. An immature buddhi. If impure buddhi you develop it to such an extent, you'll end up finding fault with every, everything. That was not the, not the goal of Advaita. And that's why purity of mind is required before you enter into these, these, uh, these, uh, this kind of analysis. But these are all preliminary problems. You stick with it. Goal is God realization. Stick with Advaita. Which path will not make you egotistic? Uh, there's a funny story of monks. They are devoted and practicing non-egotism. They got into blows. I am less egotistic than you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this illuminating talk. You've highlighted that we are nothing but one and that the real task is on us. However, having said that, I hope uh, that this just marks the beginning of a long and strong association with you and we get to host you again and again here on the campus. Um.